So I'm Evan. I'm Jordan's older brother. Um, you know, I remember when Jordan came home for one fall break and he said he was dating this girl and, you know, I, I wanted to hear about it. And, and he said it was this girl that um, he had known from his nursing program that he always had a crush on. That's true. He said that. He said that. He said that. So I still remember your first date was Jordan on crutches at an ice hockey game. And afterwards you called me and you said, he's not the one. <laughs> and I was just so confused, but Taylor said, he's not the one because he's not from Boston. <laughs> and then I said to Taylor, well, why in the world does he have to be from Boston? And she said, I don't know, I guess you're probably right. <laughs> Uh, anybody that knows my brother knows that he's a little bit of a goofball. I'm probably not not telling anybody anything they don't know there. Um, and he's been that way ever since I've known him his entire life. <laughs> Obviously, Jordan's shown a little glimmer of hope because he's done something incredibly wise today. And that is in front of all of us to marry the girl who I truly believe is your soulmate. about marriage. Uh, marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that through love, patience, dedication, perseverance, through talking and listening, help and support and believe in each other, laughter, through learning, forgiving, learning to appreciate your differences, and learning to make important things to let them go and let them rest. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh man. This is so cool. Thank you. Oh my God, you're great.
Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the beautiful barn at Boone's Dam. We're gathered here together this day to witness Jordan and Taylor give their love to one another in the bonds of marriage. And who is it that gives this woman to be married? Her mother and I do. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Now, inasmuch as you have expressed a desire to be united in marriage, I'm going to ask each of you to speak a vow. A vow that is not only made in the presence of your family and your friends who have gathered here together this day, but it's a vow that's made in the presence of God. He is an unseen guest here today. And he hears the words that you are about to speak. And he intends that you keep them as long as you both shall live. Taylor, to me, love is unique. It's like many different things. It looks like kissing under the stars, Sunday scaries with pizza and beer, <laughs> coming in second to last place at Town Tavern Lewisburg Trivia, <laughs> a winter weekend survival package, and most appropriately, love looks like, Love looks like one random but fateful night at Redonna's Pictures Night. <laughs> when you shut up and danced into my life, you were the most beautiful, unique, caring, kind person that I have ever come across. You always keep me on my toes, yet always keep me grounded. You have made me such a better person, just like my family does. You have the fun-loving personality of my mother, the determination of my father, the wittiness of my brother, and the generosity of my twin sister. You were a new love that felt so familiar. I promise to not, to not only you, but your entire family as well, no matter what love, like, love looks like, to support and protect you mentally, physically, and spiritually. At the end of the day, love to me looks like home. And after today, home is wherever you are. Jordan, I can't believe we've known each other for nine years. First as friends, then as best friends. Next, boyfriend and girlfriend, over two years as fiance, and today forever Frito. I love how sensitive you are, I love your caring nature, and I love how honest I can be with you. I love how big of a heart you have for both of our families. I hate to admit it, but you're funny. The cheerleader in me crushes so hard over your love for sports, and it's actually kind of cute when you play video games. Thanks for not laughing too hard at me when I cry over the magic of Christmas. Thanks for telling me I'm beautiful even when I tell you my feet smell after work. Thanks for being the sweetest puppy daddy I've ever laid eyes on. I prayed to God that I would find a wonderful man to spend the rest of my life with, and he gave me better, he gave me you. I vow to be there with you through the brightest days and the darkest nights. I'm proud that today I get to call you my husband. I love you, my sun and stars. From time immemorial, the ring has been used to seal important covenants. But today the ring has gained a far deeper meaning. It has become symbolic of a man's love for a woman and a woman's love for a man. As you place this ring on the third finger of Taylor's left hand, repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed. And with all that I am, with all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. As you place this ring on the third finger of Jordan's left hand, 
Repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. With all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You are kind, caring, smart, beautiful. Well, I think about all these amazing qualities that you have, I can't help but think most of them also describe Jordan. It sounds corny, but Taylor and I prayed for this man. I knew one day Taylor would meet someone who would treat her like the queen she is and nurture her sensitive little soul. But I could never have dreamt that she would meet someone this perfect for her. Taylor and Jordan, your love inspires me, fills me with joy, and sometimes even makes me gag. <laughs> We're so incre incredibly proud of both of you. Um, we're so happy to have you in the family, Taylor. We're so happy to be part of your family, and, and we appreciate so much being, you know, welcomed in. I just want to say, you know, love, cherish, uh, comfort, inspire, and most importantly, respect each other. And may, ha may all your hopes and dreams come true. We love you.
Jordan and Taylor, today you have joined hands, spoken vows, and exchanged rings. So it is now by the powers vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, as a licensed minister of the gospel, that I now pronounce you husband and wife, Jordan. Please kiss your bride. <laughs>